Hi, I'm Jamie Fitwork with IamRogue.com. I'm here with Casey, wonderful dog, who plays Freeway in the new movie Darling Companion by director Lawrence Kasdan. I had an opportunity to speak to Lawrence Kasdan, as well as his wife Meg, who helped write the script, about Darling Companion, and here's what they had to say about the movie. I want to begin by, I, I really enjoyed the movie, and I understand that it's somewhat based on a true story, an incident that happened to you guys. Could you tell me a little bit about what inspired the film? It is. We uh, lost our dog in the mountains in Colorado and mounted a very extensive search for him and ended up getting him back after a three-week adventure. He was out in very bad weather in rough terrain with wild animals around, and there were moments during the three weeks when we almost gave up, and there was someone who encouraged us to keep going, and that inspired a lot of the movie. At what point did it sort of give you the inspiration for a kernel of this idea for a film? It was actually a year or two later. Meg had been telling everybody this story, and when she heard the details, because there really was a woman who had a feeling about the dog and sort of sent us around and kept us going. And she would tell this story, and people were, we were amazed. They were interested in this story. <laughs> and finally, Meg said to me, I think we should write a, a movie about this. And it didn't really come alive for me until she said, I said, what's it about? She said, well, it's about a woman who loves her dog more than her husband. And then her husband loses a dog. And I thought, oh, well, that is dramatic. There is something going on there. Why, what would drive a woman, you know, she's got an empty nest, What's happened in their long marriage that they've drifted apart from each other? And, oh, if he committed this terrible thing, she's found this wonderful dog that she identifies with, and then he loses it. It all seemed very fraught with uh, possibilities for me. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and it's interesting, as you said, that it seems like a lot of the people that really were part of the story for you and the real experience then became characters or inspirations for characters in the film. That's yeah, right. it happens yeah. uh, sometimes, and it's really great when it happens. It's great that you can turn, you hope, into an entertaining story, something that's happened to you and had meaning for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I understand that on this film you uh, collaborated with a lot of your longtime collaborators, music composer and editor, and Mr. Kevin Klein, who I know you've worked with several times. Yes. Could you talk a little bit about the relationship uh, between you and Mr. Klein and, and directing yeah. him in this film? He's great to work with. He's an amazing actor, of course. You know, he's won two Tonys, an Oscar. He can do comedy. He can do drama. He's done them all for me. He's He's been a cowboy. He has um, been a Frenchman, an Italian. He's been an American. Um, he's great to see when you get arrived there in the morning. He's funny. He's Other actors like working with him. I like working with him. He's always presenting new possibilities to you. Is we have a very economical way of talking to each other. I uh, say, no, that's too much, that's too more, give me more of this. It's no, you're missing the thing, and there's no offense. It's not, there's never any raw feelings. It's just easy. It's all about the work. It's kind of wonderful. Yeah. Well, and pairing him with Diane Keaton just seems like a no brainer. Two of the funniest people that ever lived, and two of our great comedy actors. Yeah, uh, and finally, I wanted to ask. Um, I understand this is your first independent film yeah. or independent production, yeah. and for both of you, what was it like working on that? And was it a change of pace from what you're used to? We had less time, we had less money, but so he had to move more quickly, probably than he's ever <laughs> moved before. <laughs> but it was a wonderful experience, and not that different from making the other movies I think that that he's made you still arrive we had very little money but you still arrive in the morning and there are all these trucks and all the people and all the skilled craftsmen that you've always dealt with they're all there and they're all represented and what it does give you is this kind of spirit of we're all in this together we're doing something difficult under enormous time pressure and uh, it couldn't have been more pleasant excellent thank you so much it was, it was a pleasure you. to speak to both of you. Thank, thank you, you.